My name is Karen Lewis. I work with the National Center of Health Statistics Research Data Center. I was deployed to uh, the Emergency Operations Center in Atlanta, Georgia, and I work with the Deployment Risk Mitigation Unit as a pre-deployment coordinator. Some of our roles included uh, planning tri-weekly family outreach calls where family members and loved ones of uh, deployed responders could call in and speak with a panel of experts about Ebola or deployment related questions. My second role was to plan uh, weekly brown bag sessions where responders that were preparing for deployment could speak with responders coming back from deployment about their in-country experiences. The most challenging aspect of the mission, I would say, is leaving my day job behind. So when you take a uh, deployment, that job becomes your number one priority. And for me, it was hard for me to not want to call every day and check on my researchers back at my, my day job when I know I had coworkers that were capable uh, to handle any projects that I had while I was gone. If I had the opportunity to go back and do a second deployment, I absolutely would go back. Um, I enjoyed my time there when I worked with the Deployment Risk Mitigation Unit, and hopefully in the future I can work with a different team and possibly get a different experience. If I could give any advice to any CDC employee, my advice would be to participate in emergency response. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for us all to really learn what CDC is about, understand who CDC is as a public health entity, and it's also a great opportunity for you to participate in something outside of your day-to-day -day roles. When I was a young girl in undergraduate college, my one goal and my one dream was to work for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And now that I'm here and I got to participate in the Ebola response, I can absolutely say that it really met my expectations. It was very exciting and this is what I came here for. This is what I came here to experience.